So here in Clovis, California, we just finished installing a kitchen faucet. And the manufacturer I'm not familiar with is uh, Luxier. I uh, haven't heard of them, but uh, nice looking faucet, well up bronze. And uh, so underneath, the only thing that we've done is make a new point of connection uh, to the integrated supply. So you can see there where it's labeled hot. That supply line goes down to um, a crossover valve. They got a pump on. It's not running, uh, not functioning. But anyways, that crossover valve is uh, was already installed. So that's not ours. And brass adapters aren't ours. The only thing we've installed is the hot side there goes to the crossover valve. And then right behind the weight, which you can see right there, that's the cold. So we can get these hoses out of the way. So hot and cold right there. Those are our points of connection on the crossover valve. So integrated. And then up top, let's see if I can get you a picture up there. Maybe, maybe not without flipping the camera over. Sorry about the shaking. And then you can see up top, uh, not real fond of the way it connects. A lot of the uh, connectors now have a clip or a quick connect, you know, where it slips in like a shark bike fitting, grabs on and holds on. This one actually has a little uh, O-ring in there and you tighten the hose down to it. So uh, that's the only other point of connection right there. So monitor those for leaks. Um, hot and the cold lines where it uh, connects to the uh, crossover valve right here. And then also up top right there. Um, monitor that. Just take a look in here occasionally, make sure you don't have any developing. Um, let us know if anything uh, you know, starts to drip, we'll come back out and take care of it. And so we've tested this faucet and everything's running good, hot and cold. Uh, the other faucet had failed and um, there was no hot water coming through. Uh, we tested the supply line down here, plenty of water flow. Um, through the supply, through the shutoff valve, everything was good below, but uh, the faucet wasn't producing water. So um, anyways, we just replaced the whole faucet. Everything's working good now. Hot and cold. That is hot. And that is cold. Outside of that, this installation is done. So let me just do this. So we're still in Clovis, California, and we just uninstalled this faucet. The manufacturer is Kohler. And uh, so what we did is we were, we were getting no flow out of the faucet on the hot side, very low pressure. And so what we did is we pulled apart um, these, the supply lines, pulled the, these uh, hot and cold supply lines that are integrated, we pulled them off, put our own supply lines down at the shutoff valves and turned the waters on and we have full flow underneath. So the shutoff valves were not the problem. So somewhere along the way, this, car, this uh, faucet has failed this is the hot side. So something has happened from this braided tubing up into the copper uh, that goes all the way up into the faucet, and there's no way to clean that out. It's an integrated supply line. So um, we're, we're, uh, we've replaced the faucet for them, and um, we don't know if it was in this braided section. Typically, these can be cleaned out, but then you've got that copper tubing that goes up and connects to your cartridge up here. So that's uh, completely uh, blocked, and we recommended a faucet replacement, so we've done that today. And uh, so we're going to get with the manufacturer, get with Kohler, and see what they're going to do for a replacement or a refund. Outside of that, this installation is done.